is here, brought to you by uh, Great Day TV. And uh, to say that we live in challenging times right now is certainly an understatement. It should come as no surprise that our mental health care is uh, utmost concern right now. And Patty joins us to talk more about this issue. And, and uh, this is an issue that you've been very open about. I, well, yes, when I uh, had to leave uh, broadcasting due to my hearing disability, and I was very depressed because this is, I did seven days a week and I loved it. And I still do, I can hear it. Uh, but I was, it was very depressing. Um, and I suffered greatly. Then I got a dog and I thought, okay, things got, that helped me right. to get out of, uh, you know, taking too many pills and terrible things I was doing. One in five of us is going to suffer with between a pandemic and protests and politics and everything out there and you turn on the news and we need to know what's going on and we need the dog to come over and see you, then we also need some help, too. Right. So NAMI is, is out there to so help you. Explain what it is. So it's NAMI, N-A... Na uh, National Alliance on Mental Illness. Okay. And I spoke with the local uh, chapter administrator, and she has, she's very young, and she has some good words of advice. Let's take a look. Five people will suffer from some form of mental illness in their lifetime. So chances are you or someone you know is affected. And in these times, the struggle is even more pronounced. But you are not alone. Let's start with the basics. NAMI, what is it and what's your mission? NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and we are dedicated to improving the lives of persons and families that are affected by mental illness through education, support, and advocacy. We see an uptick in individuals that have experienced their first mental health condition. Uh, the NAMI National Helpline has received so many more calls that they've had to increase their staff and their hours. Um, but we've also seen an increase in the amount of persons with a serious mental illness that have been diagnosed for many years that are struggling with their new change of life and how to manage their mental health condition in a different way. How does the process work? So um, we help in multiple different ways. If a family calls and they need a referral, then we can refer them to any sort of agency, organization, or help that they may need, whether it be a doctor, psychiatrist, or it could even be legal help. All right, and um, yeah, I mean, you can only imagine what people are going through right now during this time, especially right. if you're alone. Um, we were talking about like school, for example, you know, for a lot of folks, like school is their safe place. And now yeah, there's all this question and they got to stay wherever they are. Whatever your situation, it could be a predicament. Uh, you were just saying about your son going to college right. and now he doesn't know. He, he well, there, you know, there's plans in place. <laughs> But, you know, now that you're seeing these uptick in numbers again, you're wondering, okay, is this the, are we going down like this, or are we going back up again? Right. So, so and many it things changes are every day. It does. It does. Well, so, so, so for people's mental health, there is an organization that they can go and get help. Yeah. You can reach out to them. NAMI is... NAMI.org. The, uh, they are nationwide, but there are local chapters. And they will refer you to different aspects or different people or uh, occupations who can help you. So... Nice. You're not alone. I know that's an overused phrase, right. but it, just make the effort to reach out. I know from experience it's very difficult. Um, you start to isolate yourself and right. shut yourself off. That's probably the worst thing you can do. The best thing is to say, I need some help. I have a problem. And it, the, the stigma. Here's something interesting. Because so many people are going through, you can empathize and sympathize with somebody else who's having a mental challenge because now you may have it. I mean, it's, it's, it's so prevalent that reach out for some help. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, don't forget you can watch Great Day TV on Saturdays at 10 a.m. That'll brighten your day up right here on Wish TV. You can also go to greatdaytv.com. Thank Patty, you. Patty, fellas, good to see you guys again. <laughs> and a dog helps. Right. <laughs> and a cat. It does. I will or say, a chipmunk, whatever. Does. Tara, you got plenty of dogs, right? Oh, I have three. <laughs>